Okay, we're going to do a Q with a list in Python. We'll go ahead and save this Python Q.py. Uh, first thing to do, we import sys, which I don't, I don't think we're going to need actually. And then we'll make class Q. Uh, you got to define initializer first. And what we'll do is pass itself to it. And then we will set itself to items. And then nothing in there. So it'll be an empty list. Okay. So now we'll define the next function. And that's going to be a. Uh, we're going to see is empty. We're going to check to see if the list is empty. It will pass itself to it. And then all we have to do is return uh, self.items equal equal because we're checking it against it. We're going to make sure that it's empty. And then next we're going to define, uh, we're going to in queue, you know, add something to the queue. And we'll have to add or pass self and item to it. And then all we'll do is put self dot items dot insert. Insert is a list function, and then we insert the item. At the beginning. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is define DQ. We're going to remove it, something from the queue. And all we got to do is self.items.pop. Pop is a list function. Now, next, we're going to check the size and see if it's just how big the queue is. Uh, we can easily do that by returning the length of the list. So all you got to do is self.items, and it will return that. And then we want to print it because you got to print your stack. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all the items in the stack. And then all we got to do is put print items. And now we're going to put that comma after there so we can print it all on the same line and don't put new lines. So let's instantiate a queue. And then let's go ahead and add uh, yeah, well, well actually let's check to see if it's empty first. Let's, let's and that'll read that'll print out true or false if it's empty. And then we'll do q dot in queue. Let's, in, let's add one to the queue. Uh, let's go ahead and, and add two to the queue. And we'll go ahead and add three. Let's add a four to it. Or actually let's not. Let's print it so you can see it. Okay. And let's, you know, dig Q. So a Q is. last in, or excuse me, Q is first in, first out. Uh, what we're going to do is print a new line so we can get a separate line. So let's remove one and then print it again. Okay, we'll print it. Let's run it here. There you go. Three, two, one, and then three, two. 
And that's it. If you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Thank you.